Hello everybody, once again, it's Charles Norma from Professor Q's Sports Solution, and today I'm actually going to do a video that I probably will never do again and I've never done before. I'm actually going to introduce you to a product that is not on the market anymore, and what I'm actually trying to do, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to do this product review, and then I'm going to need you to go down below and leave some comments, because I'm trying to convince the person that created this uh, training aid to go back and manufacture and reproduce them again. So I'm going to need your help. Now, everyone that knows that I do product reviews, that have been watching me do product reviews, uh, knows my story that I actually owned a store that was dedicated completely to sports training aids for younger players for, for, uh, from first grade all the way through high school. So that was my whole thing. I had videos. I had every kind of training aid you can possibly imagine. And I really concentrated on products that a parent could use to work with their kid, that it was intuitive, that it made sense. And I also concentrated on products that actually solved a problem. And so right now is called the flex shot. Now I know it looks a little bit like some sort of a, a leg or arm brace when it's injured themselves, but it really is ingenious. It, it, was, it was, I almost had to force people to but once they got it and they really understand the power of it, the, they loved it and they would tell other people and we would sell quite a few. And then I closed the store down and then only after my kids finished playing that I decided I want to get back into this and use the internet as my way of exposing people to these products. So this guy in the meantime had stopped producing this product and went on to other things. So I'm trying to get him to, to get back into it. So let me explain first of all what the flex shot is all about. Now to me for that the number one skill, the number one way we can make sure your kid's going to be able to play, no matter how athletic they are or non-athletic, how great their ball handling is, how well they can pass, how good their footwork is, if you can shoot, there's a place for you on, on a team, on a basketball team. The team to me is a great equalizer, and it's one of the things I try to tell parents all the time. about what the kid can't do, if they can shoot, they can play, all right? So, Here's one of the big issues with shooting is that there's so many different things, different ways people teach you to shoot. And I could do a whole video just on my philosophy on shooting, but what I, I, I think the, the biggest thing, biggest takeaway you can take from me as far as shooting is, is that everyone's physiology is different. Every kid's physiology is different, so even though you may shoot differently, in fact, if you watch shooting trainers, if you take your kid to five different shooting trainers, they'll teach them something different. Some want them side with, with a slight uh, balance. Some people want you directly in front, shoulder squared all the time. People want the elbow directly in. This, these are the ways you're taught to shoot, and kids are taught to shoot. But I actually, because of my store, I had a video where a guy was helping people in wheelchairs learn how to shoot, and that's when I realized that, you know, a lot of the shooting videos start from the body, from the bottom of the body up, from the legs, the feet, all of that stuff. So there really is no right way exactly for someone to learn how to shoot. I mean, there, there are fundamentals and techniques that you have to follow, but everyone's going to be slightly different, I guess is my bottom line there. But what's important... What's important is the finish. The finish is the, is the great equalizer. I always uh, like to use Jamal Wilkes. I know a lot of you younger people don't even know who that is. But Jamal Wilkes had sort of a slingshot uh, setup for his shot. But when he finished, he was in perfect motion. Okay, that's this uh, elbow ends up in, the wrist forward, and there's a softness to the shot. And that is the next piece, that this is the only device that I ever saw that would teach a kid how to work on a shot and have a soft finish, okay? So here's what happened. Basically, um, you put your arm through it just like this. So if I was just starting out, my arm goes through this section here, and I, I put the ball on my hand, just, just the way you're taught to do it. In fact, it almost forces you to do things like that. My elbow is straight right now. My wrist is turned correctly. And I have the ball in the palm of my hand with that space. It's sitting on my finger pads, not on my, uh, the flat part of my hand, on, on the face of my hand. So I, I actually have it up here. And so just this is hard to get somebody to do, but especially a younger kid without the ball falling off their hand. Because normally they have to get their other hand up here. But this is holding the ball for you. Okay? And then what we want to do is we want to go through our follow-through on our shot. And this is where we have the problems. When you are following through on a shot, everyone will tell you that these two fingers should be the last two fingers as the ball releases, and there's a slight 
backspin. You're trying to get that rotation. That's what softens the shot and lets it finish on the rim. You spin shooters, they get what they call the shooter roll. So all that really means is, is that that shot is soft. It's going to sit on the rim. It's going to give you that extra chance to be successful. This is the only part of the little thing to allow a kid to get reps doing that exactly right. So the ball sit in your hand. You come here. You go through your shot, and you finish up. And every time, you're going to get that with those last two fingers on the ball over and over again. So this means on the way to the game, you're sitting at home on the couch, you're uh, in the car. Everywhere you go, you take this thing with you and you're working on your shot. Your kid's working a shot. The, the arm is straight, the elbow's straight. You're going up and you're releasing and you bring it back. And the way it was built, there's a slight turn at the top Okay, and that's what's giving you that backspin. Okay, so when they take this off, it's all in and sports is te te technical parts of sports is all about muscle memory. You're trying to build muscle memory, and there's no better way to do that than with this flex shot. Okay, over and over again, and you can also get them in here if you want to work on this. They go all the way through their motion and they finish off. They come in here, all the way through their motion and they finish off. Okay, you can do this over and over again. This is a great, great product and it's not being made anymore. So what I'm asking you guys to do, go down below, send him some measures. I told him I was going to do this. I had this order. This is his last one that he had. I went ahead and got it from him, and I told him I'm going to send it back to him because he doesn't have any more of them. But I wanted to show this to you guys because this was one of the best, most successful products I've ever had. And not just in terms of sales, because that's not a big deal to me. It was in terms of success for kids trying to solve a problem. Some kids had to where they were pushing the ball out all the time. Some people uh, were, were shooting the ball and they were shooting it too high and they weren't getting that backspin. They couldn't figure out the backspin part of it. And this is going to show them actually what is going on, what that little bit is. So anyway, this is the flex shot. It's not available, so there's not going to be a link for you to be able to purchase it. But if you can leave me a message below, leave a message for the uh, inventor of this, and let's try to see if we can get him to uh, recreate this. And then I'll come back, and I'll show you some other things about it, and we'll uh, have a way for you to purchase it. Okay? So the flex shot, look at the, uh, uh, leave me a message down below, and then go ahead and look at the other products that we reviewed. We review on our website. I'll put the website address uh, down below, and any product that's there, I usually do a review for, and it is a product that's going to help you, and especially if you're a parent, but even if you're a coach and you have, you have a team, this is a great product to have in your arsenal. All right, thanks a lot, and we'll see you later. And remember, let's keep our kids in the game. Keep them playing. All right, bye-bye.